Oh dear. Uh, let's try again. We need a plunger! And so, I went upstairs because I had to use the washroom, but when I looked in the toilet, the water was really low and there's a bunch of toilet paper in it, and that didn't look good, so before I did anything, you know, I wanted to make sure that it would work, so I flushed it once, and right away, like, the water came up and filled to its normal. So then I tried again to see if whatever was there had been cleared, but it wasn't because the water came up again, and this time it didn't go back down. So I yelled down the stairs, we need a plunger! And Janelle was like, there's one in the bathroom. So I looked and I didn't see one. So Janelle ran downstairs and she looked. She didn't find one either. And she's like, no, I swear there was one in the bathroom. So she ran back upstairs, checked in all the places that I had just looked, and it, lo and behold, she didn't find one either. So now was the question. Now the question was, what are we going to do? Because we wanted to sit down and watch a movie. We but, so now we have a plan. Through thick and thin, the Lipton girls will stick together. So, on an adventure we will go. Vanessa, Esther, and I, along with our bowls of ice cream and our flip-flops, soon to be put on my feet, we will go out in an excursion to Dollarama to buy a plunger so that successful toilet usage can occur prior, pre, post, during movie time. Along goes our journey! Woo! Woo! Themes. Sorry or to be a party pooper. A little bit of a Mennonite for me here. Um, this one is actually <laughs> 25 cents cheaper. Oh no. So, like, give me some white paint. Don't touch my head with that. Give me some white paint and I'll spot little cow prints on. You promise? I will. We can fill this. I have white paint at home. Me too. Okay. We can put cow prints okay. on it. But I expect good <laughs> cow prints. Um, okay. I think that's anything. That's all we needed. Perfect. All right. Okay. Mm. Success. plunger, 
I was appalled. At first, I thought, you know, this might be the end of the Lipton house. Like, the floors are gonna get wet, it's gonna rot, we're gonna fall through the bathtub. I, I saw my life flash before my eyes. But then Vanessa very calmly said, why don't we just buy a plunger? She's so smart. And you know what is even better? Esther jumped right on board with the plan, and before you knew it, we're in the car eating ice cream on the way to get the plunger. Problem solved. Um, I think in retrospect, I'm actually really glad that this happened. I mean, at first it definitely was a sense of panic. Like, I don't know the first thing about plumbing. Um, although one time when I was working at uh, the coffee shop, I did have to go in and jiggle the handle a little bit um, to make it work properly. Um, but that was at the suggestion of a customer, actually. I had no idea what to do. And I feel like it really brought us together as a household, and I feel like the three of us just have a much stronger relationship now because of it. Um, you know, shared experiences are definitely what binds people together. And when you come through a crisis like this, um, I just, you know, I just really felt the support from Esther and from Janelle. It was a little traumatic, I have to admit. But Esther and Janelle, they were just right there for me. Um, you know, Janelle running down to check for the, the basement for the plunger. Esther just like jumping right on board and saying, yes, let's go to Dollaram, let's just buy the plunger. Um, you know, and then the fact that we all piled in the car and went together, like, um, I don't know if I could have done that by myself. In the end, uh, as much as it was a difficult situation and as much as we struggled, um, especially in the beginning, I think... I think that we came through stronger. I'm really grateful that uh, that we had this chance to bond in this way. So I feel a little guilty because I knew that the toilet wasn't working properly, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want them to think it was me that had clogged it. When Vanessa yelled that we needed a plunger, I knew that we didn't have one because I'd already looked for one. Of course, I had to pretend like I didn't know anything and jump on board with the whole Dollarama trip. 